All right, hi everyone. Uh, we're gonna start the fall GM now. Um, yeah, so quick introduction. Oh. Sorry. Stop messing with me. Right. Wait, actually, hold on. You need to pull up the slide, not the Zoom link. Is this in presentation mode? I don't know what you mean. Oh no, hold up. <laughs> Yeah, um, right. so my name is Henry. I'm the CPRES of Cyber. And hi, everyone. I'm Josh. I'm also CPRES. Yeah, um, so my pronoun is he, him, is. I'm a third year CS major. And yeah, I'll be starting the whole GM meeting. Um, all right, so go ahead and go next slide. To start, um, welcome. Thank you for making it your way out here, even though it's raining. Um, other, first thing first is COVID policy. We want to make sure everyone here has been checked by someone. Uh, at least a broom card, so we can make sure you are most likely vaccinated. And also, during this meeting, don't remove your mask. If you need to drink or eat something, just go outside. And yeah, we want to make sure everyone's safe. And other than that, stay, just sit down and enjoy. All right, next slide. So, our mission as Cyber is to foster a community and an environment where every anyone can sort of come and learn about cybersecurity. And that includes people who have done a lot of CTF um, before, or people who doesn't have any CS experience or no cybersecurity experience whatsoever. You're all welcomed here, and we'll be sure to cater to everyone's need throughout this quarter. All right, next slide. All right, so what is cyber, or what is cybersecurity? Um, if you want to take time to look at the first definition there is, um, this is from IBM, or yeah. Oh, I am it's fine. It's I'm fine. Me. <laughs> um, so basically, it's a practice of protecting the critical systems, and yeah, it's mainly on the digital world. But I, I'm not going to read that out loud to you guys. So in short, if I explain it to you like you're five, it's bad people are on on the internet, and our goal as cyber is how do we stop them from doing it? And there are multiple approaches that we can take to stop them from getting our information. For example, we may want to improve our firewall. We may want to do penetration testing so we know what are the flaws in our system. And then this goes on and on and on. So this is a very diverse field. And this sort of goes into why we want to study cyber. So the first thing first is you learn how to protect yourself. Um, in this year, like, or like day and age, there's everyone's online. Like you have your Instagram, you have your Facebook, in case you don't know, Facebook suffered a major outage earlier this day today. Um, and also cybersecurity jobs are in high demand. If you look over here, this is the entry level of salary. And I don't know about you, but I'll be very happy to be making that money. <laughs> and also it is very fun to break stuff. That is my favorite thing to do. Um, I actually started, I got into cybersecurity, not because I was actually interested in security. It was because I sucked at video games. And I didn't want to play it properly. So I ended up breaking the game to get more points for myself. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
And in fact, last year in one of our workshops, we taught the we talked about how to make your own aimbot for CSGO. So, you know, that's an option. We'll be doing more video game hacking later on this quarter. Um, next slide. All right, so what do we do? Like, how do we get you so you can go, you know, start breaking stuff? Well, we have our workshop. So every quarter we have our workshops track. And for this quarter, this will be uh, the web. And um, so this will be at the same time for this quarter, Monday, six to eight. It won't be in this room, it'll be in a smaller room. But yeah, intro to the web is next Monday. Come out and check it out. We also have other workshop. Uh, I don't think we're doing memory forensic this year, but advanced reverse engineering for those for the freshmen here, we always do that during the spring quarter. And the reason is because you'll most likely be taking CS33 with uh, Ryman during that time. And you're gonna need us for Bomb Lab. Just keep my word. Come back here if you have on Bomb Lab because we do a workshop and help you through that project every year. Um, yeah, next slide. And then over here, you'll get to play with this later during, yeah, later in the GM, but this is what we call CTF challenges. So in every workshop, every GM, we have CTF challenges, uh, capture the flag. For those of you that are not familiar with it, it's basically, so, well, yeah. So I talked a little earlier about how cybersecurity is like breaking into system, getting information. And we can't necessarily let you break into an actual system because you know that costs money. If we break into Facebook, if we can break into Facebook, it's gonna make them very angry at us. So what we do instead is we create subsets of problem or like simulations for you to break into. And inside these simulations, we have certain flags, which is like the data you want to retrieve. And you basically submit it to our website and we give you points. And when you, when you get like a certain score or when you get the highest score, we give you a price. And history shows that we like to give out Amazon gift cards. So if you want Amazon gift cards, do these challenges. They're also here just to, you know, sort of let you try out what you've learned because in that cyber, we don't want to just lecture to you all the time. Uh, it's a lot more fun if you can experience it for yourself to do some puzzles. So yeah. We'll have something similar for all of you guys later. It will be have both beginner and advanced question. But then next slide. All right. Uh, this is for your takeover, right? I think you finished with this. All right. So basically, what I was saying: participate, come to our workshop, and then come talk to our officers later on, starting week three. We will have CTF. We'll be participating in external CTFs. So um, Google. Carnegie Mellon, sometimes Facebook, they have CTF events. And essentially, if you come, we'll group you up with officers and other AC cyber members. And we'll just, you know, have a fun time, do some CTFs together. And also every single quarter, we have the CTF after dark, which is at the end of the quarter, eight. And it's sort of like you accumulate all the knowledges from your workshop and you come and break more stuff. Yeah. Cool. All right, cool. Um, so we have our workshops and all that, but we also have like runoff events. So in the past, we've had uh, guest speakers talk. So uh, an old president of ours, Sanjana, came to talk last year. Um, we also have a puzzle hunt. So if you like make doing puzzles, if we just have like a bunch of puzzles for you to solve, and I think like top three teams win prizes. So I actually participated last year. I think I got like fifty dollars. So it's pretty dope. Uh, if you want to do puzzles, go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a bunch of other events, maybe a CTF in real life, you know, like when you play and you like run around and all that, maybe we'll do that, we don't know. Uh, so look out for that. <laughs> all right, uh, the other thing I wanna talk about is Psi Beta Rho, um, which I kind of mentioned uh, at Fall GM, but um, Psi Beta Rho is our CTF team and it's led by our lovely director, Matt over there. Um, and so you might be wondering like, what the heck, like what are CTFs? But Henry mentioned it a little bit, but just go a little bit more in depth. Basically, um, we join these competitions. It's kind of just like a computer science or a computer security competition, you know, solve a bunch of puzzles and get points and the top teams will win prizes. Um, so basically, yeah, you can go as individuals or you can go in teams, but if you go with us, uh, we can match you up with the team. Um, you make, it makes you feel really good when you get them. I'm not very good at them, but you know, I do feel good and you do get a huge brain and become an elite hacker. So that is fun. So we're actually 
Um, we're planning on having one or attending one this what, next next week, week three. Um, so you can go ahead and sign up for a team there. There should be a Google form. Um, you know, if you're a beginner, we will uh, match you up with an officer. I think it's groups of four. So uh, make sure you sign up earlier if you can. Uh, and there's also just more information um, on that link, the other link over there. Um, right now we're deciding between these two. There's like dead face and reply. Uh, we're probably gonna, gonna go with reply because it looks a little bit nicer than dead face. But um, yeah, we will update you guys on all that. So the slides can be found on our website um, in case you're wondering how to get to the links. Right, our website is acmcyber.com. So anyways, uh, yeah, next slide. Okay, um, and another thing, um, so ACM has this program called, or basically like an application to become an officer. And you first start off as an intern. So I was actually an intern last year. Um, and what it is, is like, you're basically like training to become an officer. Um, but this year, like, we don't, we don't like the word intern. We're gonna call you guys beans. So um, applications will start week three, and I think they end around week five. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in becoming an officer with us, feel free to you know, talk with us, get to know, um, you know what it will be like. We actually have a page on our website that talks a little bit more about your responsibilities and like things you might learn. Um, so, you know, if you want to work with us and you want to get that, that flex on your resume, you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, feel free to sign up for that. Oh, yeah. And also as a, as a, as a bean, you'll also get uh, a little mentor, which, which is one of the officers. So. We're deciding between a Jack, like Jack and the Beanstalk, or wait, what was the other one? A sprout, a Sprout, like Bean Sprout, you know? So that's fun, you know? Okay, next one. Okay, uh, and so that's basically, you know, what we do throughout the year and how you can get involved. Uh, so now we just wanted to introduce ourselves so you can get to know us a little bit better. So, okay, well, Henry just left, so I don't know. I guess we'll just wait for him. Okay. All right. So I already introduced myself, but that's me. Um, I'm from Taiwan, but I grew up in Alabama. So if you're out of state and you have a question about CS or anything, you can come talk to me. Um, I joined Cyber as an intern my freshman year, but don't let that hinder you if you're a second year or even a third year. Feel free to join. You can still be an intern. Josh was actually my intern last year, and he was a third year. Yeah. And then... Yeah, hobbies, I like gaming, rock climbing, and skateboarding. I actually fell off my skateboard like three days ago, and it was not fun. But there's me without my mask on, and there's my sister, who is considered the golden child in my family. Yeah. All right. Josh, All right. Uh, I'll go next. Um, my name is Josh Lee. I'm actually a fourth year CS major. I'm also a transfer student, so I transferred in last year over COVID, which kind of sucked and all, but glad to finally be here. Um, I am from San Jose, California, Bay Area representing. Uh, let's go, yep. I joined, yeah, I joined Cyber last year as an intern, so I'm still kind of new, but you know, I'm also co-pres, so I'm, uh, that's kind of weird. And I really like food, so honestly, being Yelp elite is kind of my dream. So I've been taking a lot of pictures, uh, making reviews, so if you guys want to like upvote my reviews, I'd appreciate that. Uh, I like Valorant, kind of. Uh, I like Golden State Warriors, go Warriors. I like volleyball and I like being a hacker man. So nice being you all. Yeah. Hello, guys. My name is Jeffrey. I'm a third year CSC major. Uh, joined Cyber at the same time as uh, Henry. So uh, my first year. Uh, yeah, I'm also from the Bay Area, I represent. Uh, I'm a gamer and a violinist. So you could say that I like both forms of violins. Violin. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, that's it for me. <laughs> Um, hi everybody, I'm Steven. Uh, I'm a second year CLC major. I'm from California. I joined as an intern last year. Um, I like that major. I'm going to be also playing a draw. Um, one of the prizes for doing well in our um, quarter long challenge this year will be that you might get to shave my head and maybe make another one of these pictures. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, hold on, Jerry. Can you come over here? The microphone is over here. Oh, there's one there too. Okay, never mind. Stay there. 
Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Jerry. I'm a second year CS major from North San Jose, Severio once again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fun fact, I'm not a US citizen because I was born in China, still never became a US citizen. Um, I like puzzles and dragons. Also like complaining about life, complaining about anything in general. Um, like I like running as in cross country, but also running away from all my responsibilities. <laughs> um, and like a lot of people here, I joined as an intern last year without any, any cybersecurity knowledge. So that could be you. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Steph. Um, I'm a second year CS major and I'm from San Francisco, so Baria too. And um, I like to play D&D. &D. Currently I'm a swashbuckler. Um, and I also really enjoy painting. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Luke. I'm a third year CS major from Pasadena, so just a few minutes up the road. Um, I joined cyber in my second year, so I've actually only been uh, with cyber for a year. Um, I'm into live music and playing guitar. I also like watching motorsports, so like Formula One and WRC, and uh, playing video games in my free time uh, as well. Yes, uh, I'm Matt or Matthew Lanikara, and one, um, I'm a third year CS plus E, which is computer science and economics, not CSE. Um, I'm from Redondo Beach, I like running, um, that picture is, believe it or not, me. Uh, I also like riding horses. And uh, like was mentioned earlier, I'm the side beta road director, so if you have questions about CTF, come talk to me. Um, I'm a third year CS major, also from the Bay Area. Um, you see a trend here. Um, I joined Cyber my freshman year as well, and I have been in it for two, uh, this is my third year. Um, some fun facts about me are that over quarantine, I built a really nice gaming PC so I could play Stardew Valley, no lag. Um, I really like boba, and like my friends joke that like if I could get a boba IV, I would, and like yeah, I would. Um, and some of my other interests include escape rooms, board games, and gym stuff. If that's a hobby. All right. Um, <laughs> so as you can see, we don't have a picture of Will here, nor is he actually here in person <laughs> with us. I think there were some mis. Communication. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, he will be here later. I'll fetch him in a little bit. But this was his slide. He's a third year CS major and he's from DC. So, yeah, we'll, I'll let you guys know when he actually gets here. All right, next slide. All right. Um, so, what are we going to, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to let you try out some CTF to begin with. Um, don't worry, a lot of these challenges are Googleable. So just if you Google for a little bit. So go ahead and head to our website. You're going to have to sign up. Wait, guys, guys, hold on. Guys. Hello. Guys, hold on. Um, try to get into groups if you can. Like talk to your neighbors. We're going to do an icebreaker after this. But there will be a price at the end. And also for ACM general, there's an attendance code at the end of the slides for you to type in. And, um, hold on, go back, go back. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. There's a quick disclaimer. Um, don't feel discouraged if you can't solve all the challenges. We added uh, some harder challenges this year to for the returning members. All right, and then without further ado, let's do the icebreaker. Um, this room is kind of crowded for this, but essentially go and play rock, paper, scissor. I think you guys know how this works. Whoever loses, follow the winner. And when you do it, introduce yourself and then tell them what your forbidden snack is. So for me, it's like the Tide Pods. Like they look very <laughs> Um, Yeah, so, you know, get to it. 